lumping operation. Okay, so from here we will go to lumping. Okay, but again we can check the quality of the matching. By the way, you can yeah neglect this one. Some interruption, small interruption there. Saturation pressure. If we untick this one, and then for the light, and then for the heavy one, again, the face envelope for the light and for the heavy, of course, and then the, C the CCE. Okay. The light and the heavy one. Okay, and then also for the CVD, again, sorry for this one. Okay, now let's see this one is from the heavy component. Now, quite match, but not that match, but we can accept that. And also for the light, the, the chocolate or the brown color which is quite acceptable, okay? So from CCE and from the CVD, we can say, we can see that it's quite match, okay? Uh, the, the matching variant, the model that has been matched, I think it's quite acceptable that we can use this one for our reservoir simulation, okay? All right, so far so good. And let's say if we go back to the component, okay, we can, and then highlight the light component. Let's say, what do we have here? We can, here you can see show changes after matching. Okay, we can take this one, but This one, show changes after matching. Okay, here you have show changes after matching. Now it has been highlighted. Okay. Again, for the C20 and then for the C1, C2, C3 in the Peng Robinson. So if I untick this one, you cannot see the highlight, but now after I tick this one, now you can see the, the changes that has been that have been matched so that the, the model can be matched. Okay, for the light and also for the heavy, of course. Okay. All right now. As I said before, I want to do lumping, okay? Lumping is adding many components, many components to form a new heavier component so that what we have, the new component, which is actually heavier, heavier component, we can use this one. You can, you can use that new sample to reduce simulation time. Again, lumping is adding many components to form a new heavier component to reduce simulation time, okay? Because here, you see, in my fluid here, I have 24 components, compositional modeling, 24 components. If I input all these 24 components in my reservoir simulation, the reservoir simulation will be too heavy, right? The simulation, the model needs to calculate 24 components. The flow rate, the molar flow rate, the mass flow rate for each component. And it will make the calculation time for my simulation very, very long. So I need to reduce the number of the components by doing lumping. Okay, So I will create, I will gather, I will add many components to form of a new, a single new heavier component, okay? And we can have two options in T-Navigator. The first one is using normal procedure, 
and the second one is to use auto lumping and i will show you both of the both of the methods okay then again we will match the new lumped variant we will add lumped variant and we will check the quality control okay so the first one is we will do manual lumping okay we are in the components the component properties now the first operation is matching the second operation is lumping okay again we will do lumping we will add many components to form a new heavier component we click this one okay lumping window here we have in this window i have all my components from nitrogen down to c20 okay let's say i want to lump from c12 to c20 plus okay i will highlight from c20 plus down to from from c12 i mean down to c20 plus okay and here this one is auto lumping i go to this one group components i want to lump i want to group i want to combine from c12 down to c20 plus to create one new component click this one you see now i have a new group a new heavier component and i will click i will rename this one to be c12 plus okay you can rename it as you wish okay here you can right click and ungroup components of course so now i only have you can count i only have not 24 components but i only have nitrogen down to c12 plus okay it's my new model my new fluid which i call lump fluid for example okay and of course we need to match this new fluid the lump fluid with the the data okay we will do matching again and we can do that using this one matching okay of course we will try to match the model with the data okay 